I'm Allie and today I'm going to show you how to make a simple outfit using the G3 Clone Cloth New Look. We'll begin by loading Kyle Overcoat and Fit, but first I'd like to point out a few of the features with the install of this new clone cloth. With the G3 Clone Cloth New Look, the cloth bases are already in your library. Additionally, Reillusion have added the uppers and the lowers in your library, which will make it very easy for you when mixing and matching various uppers and lowers from the different cloth bases. Starting with the upper and with the diffuse box highlighted, I'm going to launch my photo program. This is the template map for the upper, and I generally start by creating two new layers. One layer which I will fill with black, and the other layer I will fill with white. It's important to make sure that your black is pure black and your white is pure white. The settings for black are 000 and for white they're 255, 255, 255. Using the lasso tool, I'm going to cut out a shape following the lines on the template. Generally, I cut out one half of the front first. And I'm following the lines very carefully that Real Illusion provide on the templates. This will give the shirt a little bit of a shirt tail. And we're going to cut this out of the white. Now all I need to do now is make a duplicate layer and flip it and I'll have a perfectly symmetrical front. I'll repeat this procedure on the back and then I'll continue to cut out the collar and the sleeves and the shirt because we want this shirt to have a t-shirt underneath. I've now finished cutting out all the various elements so I'm going to turn on the black and I'm going to save my project. I usually name it something like Upper Overcoat Project so that I'll remember which base I based it on. I'll now save the opacity as a JPEG. And now we'll go ahead and open up iClone and we'll load the opacity map. And now we have a good feel for what our outfit's going to look like. So I've gone ahead and combined the layers for the outer shirt as one layer and the inner shirt as another layer. So starting with the outer shirt, I'm going to just use the magic wand and highlight the different elements and then we're going to fill it with a pattern. I'm going to do the same thing now for the inner shirt. So we'll go ahead now and save this as our diffuse map as a JPEG. And then we'll go back in iClone now and we'll apply the diffuse map. So that looks pretty good, but let's give it a little more detail. I'm just going to cut out a shape now that would be where the buttons in the center seam would be. And I'm just doing this really fast. And once again, I'm using the lasso tool. And then I'm going to add the same pattern as the shirt. So I'm going to double click now on that layer that I just cut out. And I'm going to add a drop shadow. So I'm going to save this diffuse map and go back into iClone to see how it's looking.
So the drop shadow is a bit harsh. So back in Photoshop I softened it and added some buttons. I also added a bump map and a blend map from the library that Real Illusion supplies with the program. Earlier I repeated the same steps for the lower and I filled it with the same pattern as the shirt. I also exported the texture map for one of the other pairs of fit jeans and I'm using that for a bump map to add some wrinkle. Additionally I'll add a blend like I did to the upper and you can adjust the dials. And it just gives it a more lived in look. So there you have it. Now we'll just add some different hair, a few accessories, and we're all done.